today I'm going to be going over the process for discharging items and the first thing that you'll want to do is actually go through the items on the table where everybody turns everything in. Um, when you're going through each item you're going to want to look to make sure there isn't any damage and page through and see if there's any marks or water damage or stains of any kind and if it looks fine then you are going to want to go to the discharge function in C workflows. It's next to the checkout function. It's a little blue book with a hand over it. You can click that button and then a screen should show up that says discharging identify item. Go ahead and go to the scanner and scan the barcode and make sure that it actually shows up on the screen as having been discharged. Then go ahead and move it to a different place than where you're keeping your other items for discharge just to make sure that everything is kept separate. And you can go ahead and move on to new items. Um, and just go ahead and remember to check through them, make sure everything looks good, and then scan and make sure that it shows up. When you get an item that has a new sticker on it that is actually past three months, you're going to want to go ahead and take it out. And since, then, since this is now October, um, anything before 07, 08 is not new anymore. So go ahead and take that sticker off throw it in the trash and continue examining the item. Alright. Okay. And with audiovisual items, um, especially books on CD or on cassette, you're going to want to make sure that they have all the items that, all the pieces that come with the item. Um, they should have two discs. Um, two cassettes. It says on the title right here, two cassettes. It'll also show up in Cersei um, when you're checking items in. You want to go ahead and make sure that the items are there, the pieces are there, and also that they've been properly taken care of. In the case of videotapes and cassettes, you need to make sure that they've been rewound. We've got the rewinders here. There's the video rewinder. There's the cassette rewinder. This one has the cassettes returned are just fine and so you can go ahead and check that in and then it'll say how many items are supposed to be in it in workflows and you're going to want to go ahead and enter the override code if the correct number have been returned and then it'll show up on the screen as having been returned. When you're discharging items you also need to make sure that all audiovisual items are checked for all their pieces regardless of how many there are. So even if an item just has one piece in it you need to make sure it's there like with the CD before you discharge it and then you can go ahead and of course make sure that it shows up on the screen. Be very, very careful to make sure that it pops up on there. Um, if it's not returned complete, if some of the items, some of the pieces in the item are missing, you're going to want to go into this drawer and it'll say um, return in complete form. And you're going to want to take that out and fill out the necessary information and put that with the item and it'll go on this shelf, second shelf, it's uh, below all the forms and stuff and above damaged items and you'll want to put them all together there. This item looks like it's damaged. It's got this piece missing on the spine. We're going to go ahead and look through it and you always want to check to see if it's had any damage noted on the inside cover and if not you will need to fill out a damage form. And that's in the same drawer as the incomplete forms. It's right behind where the incomplete forms are. And it's got basically the same information on it, too. I can't really pull one out. Right. There we go. And um, just fill it out, and then it goes on the shelf right below the returned incomplete items. All right, now that you've got these items that you have discharged, you're going to want to take them over to the carts. And I will explain that in another video. Absolutely the most important thing when you're discharging items is to make sure that they actually show up on the screen as being discharged. So after you look through them and scan them under, make sure that it's showing up on the screen. Alright, one final issue with doing the discharge list is dealing with holds. Um, and so you'll want to go ahead and check through your item regularly, making sure there's no damage or anything. And then you're going to go ahead and discharge it. And it will pop up with a hold. 
and the little printer will print a sheet that says the item is now being held. You're going to tear that out and place it in the book and then you're going to go ahead and take it back to the hold shelf. And that segues nicely into the final aspect of discharging, which is placing items on the carts. This first cart is the children's cart, and it has a lot of different places for a lot of different kinds of books. The top shelf is the easy books, and they have tags that look like this. And so they just have the E and not the E-R or E-L. Um, so they go on the top shelf. If they have E-R, they'll go right here on the second shelf where it says E-R for easy readers. And if they have E-L, like that, that's easy littles, and they're like the board type books, and it says E-L below here on the second shelf. And then paperbacks of all varieties that have easy markers on them go on this right-hand side of the second shelf. All of the juvenile audiovisual items go on the bottom shelf. Um, and that's all for this side of the cart. On this side, we've got the juvenile items. Juvenile nonfiction goes on the top, so you'll want to look for the Dewey Decimal numbers on the bottom, and that's where you place your discharge items that have those juvenile stickers with the Dewey Decimal. Spanish items will go on the left side of the shelf. And then on the second shelf, you've got juvenile fiction, so that'll be the J with the cutter numbers. Juvenile paperback goes in the middle, and comics with a J at the top will go on the right-hand side. New items, regardless of what type they are, as long as they're juvenile or easy, will go on the left-hand side of the bottom shelf. Um, no magazines will go in the middle. And then parenting items, or items that are marked as being in the professional collection, go on this right-hand side. Then there are also some shelves that aren't associated with carts in the back behind the circ desk, and this is where cassettes and CDs for audiobooks go. Then we've got paperbacks down here, and don't confuse the general paperbacks with the mystery and sci-fi paperbacks, because the mystery and sci-fi adult paperbacks actually go on the cart. And then on the bottom shelf here, we have the romance novels, which don't actually have barcodes on them, they just have a stamp that says Albany County Library. Alright, moving on to the adult cart. Um, fiction items go on this top shelf, just all the way along. Um, make sure you don't put any new items there, though. On the second shelf, you've got sci-fi, mystery, and westerns. And that includes the paperbacks for those kinds of items. And then on the bottom shelf, we have magazines and newspapers. And then we also have folios. Then on the back side of the cart, we put nonfiction up here. Um, all new adult items, except for audiovisual, go on this... Actually, all new adult books go on this shelf. And remember just that it's three months back. Um, so since it's October now, anything from July and later is shelved in here. Anything before July should have its sticker removed and be placed on the regular cart. This is the YA cart. It's also where we put a lot of our audiovisual items, um, those that aren't books, audiobooks. Um, fiction goes here. Nonfiction goes in the back. New YA items go here. Um, Sci-fi and mysteries go on this right-hand side of the cart, and paperbacks go kind of in the middle, and then we've got the AV items in the top middle. On the second shelf, we've got manga and comics on the left-hand side, and then we have CDs go in the middle, and all of the videos, DVDs, and video games go on the right-hand side. The final shelf is the large print shelf, and large print fiction should go on the top. New large print items go on the right-hand side of the top shelf. And then on the second shelf, we have things like mysteries, sci-fi, westerns, and then also the nonfiction. All right, and that's it.